Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Uh, been struggling with the problem of Cyrillic and a number of videos already. I think I've got a workaround for some of these problems. Um, yeah, the last five, six videos I've done have been about trying to get Cyrillic to cooperate. I have a workaround for those who are interested. Um, First thing I'm going to do is open the document in OpenOffice Writer, and it's an SRT file, so it should. Um, I know the SRT works in Russian. I've set my OpenOffice document to read Russian or to display Cyrillic. And what I'm also going to do is go to my wiki page at Zoho. Zoho is a pretty nice little um, web application. It has a number of tools that uh, you can see all the tools here. Let's go ahead and get myself logged in. And in the meantime, I'll open up the document file. Let's see if it has recent. Yes, that should work. <laughs> of course, it doesn't. File open. Let's see if the other one recent file open. I go to SRT, the original SRT. It doesn't work either. Uh, language. Where's my language settings? Options. It was working just a couple seconds ago. Language settings. Languages. Okay, user interface, default currency, language is Russian. So it should load that. So file open SRT, no joy. Okay, so um, not to be thwarted by a computer, the next step, of course, is to go with Microsoft Excel. Now, the reason I use Excel is because it prompts you for the language that you want to import into. If it detects the language and doesn't understand it, it's smart enough to say, hey, I don't understand it. So let's give it a file to open. File, open, desktop. SRT, I want all files, and island SRT, and I have to f sort through all of the Cyrillic languages. I use 1251 Cyrillic Windows. Oh, look at that. It's not picking it up again. Okay, so maybe the SRT file is corrupt. Why would it be corrupt when it was working just minutes ago? I don't know. But there's the SRT there, so we'll go ahead and open that one. That's the original. Cancel this. File open, and we'll go to the folder. Let's sort by type. Island SRT. Now, okay, prompts for SRT and Cyrillic. There it is. Finish. Don't update. Now, because it's imported all in separate lines, you can see there it is. I'm going to copy that straight from Excel into my new wiki page. Uh, and I'm going to call this Ostrov. O S T R O V. In parentheses, R U. Create. Now I'm going to just paste it. Actually, I'm going to bump up the font size because I like to be able to read it. Uh, test. Okay, it's 12 point. And Control V, paste. Should take a couple seconds because it's a lot of work. Yes, it worked. Okay, so scroll back up. And now it's in Russian. Uh, let's go ahead and save this, save our changes. And in a moment, I will have a wiki that supports 
uh, Cyrillic for my own individual editing. Of course, if I have some Russian friends or people who want to help me, you can, of course, contact me, and I will be happy to share with you this document. As it is, it's public anyway. Uh, it's still saving. I want to show you one last thing before I say goodbye. That one last thing is right here. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to edit the page. It'll take a moment for it to load, of course, because text. <clears throat> right click. Ooh, right click doesn't work. Oh, that's right, because I'm in the wiki now. Um, the other thing I was going to do was going to show you a, a tool that's very cool uh, for translating Russian into English and back and forth. And we can close this. And we can close this because it's sucking up valuable RAM because my computer is underpowered. Uh, I'm trying to open up a new browser and I'll show you why in a second. There it goes. Uh, the, I want to show you the translate tool right there. Oh, that's English Russian. I don't want English Russian. I want Russian English. So are you? There it is. Now um, I can paste. Should have worked. I'm going to paste this. Copy. And then paste. Paste. It's not copying used to copy now it's not copying I think it's because of oh I'm maxing out my RAM you can see that the refresh on my page is lost let's go back one more time back to the original page I might have to do well oh, that's interesting um, I don't like that it's copied all of that that's clearly wrong um, let's see if I can copy it this time. Right click, copy. Let's go to the page and paste there. Okay, now I've pasted it, translate it. I can find out what they're saying. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God. Oh, great. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've got the first piece of translated text, and I will add uh, edit my page. And what I like to do for these edits, because I'm trying to learn Russian, believe it or not, uh, because I'm trying to learn Russian, I'm going to put the subtitle, I'm going to write it, and now I'm going to put uh, pipe, and there is a translation, save. And it's saving. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, this has been a painful process for me. Hopefully it won't be so painful for you if you decide to challenge yourself with a <clears throat> language as tricky as Russian. Thank you, and happy computing.